Welcome back, everyone, to Open Line. We are talking about the issue of bullying and and getting really all kinds of good information about that. We have with us clinical psychologist and founder of the Child Parent Educator Collective, Eve Goldstein. And in this first segment, we talked about cyberbullying and all that goes on with that. But you're also with this Child Parent Educator Collective. What are you seeing now in classrooms, you know, face-to-face -face in classrooms? What's, what's going on there as far as bullying? Right. So teachers are really trying to be more aware of what's going on in the classrooms, which is fantastic. But <clears throat> oftentimes when they're not directly in the classroom, but maybe it's passing periods or lunch or recess or different um, after school programs or things like that, where we start to see uh, more of an opportunity for this bullying to occur more face to face. And that can happen with things like um, fights in the bathroom and um, more physical experiences that people have. Name calling is a big piece that we see a lot. Um, making claims and telling people lies about the other child and then spreading those rumors or lies is another piece that we see a lot. And basically uh, it's challenging if for a teacher to know exactly what's happening in those kinds of situations. So that's where we start to really try and educate and teach friends and the community as a whole to start looking at what's happening and to not be a bystander, but to actually speak up and help support the other children that are, you know, the children that they see are being bullied. We've talked about it on the show, the trend that teachers are leaving the classroom. Why, I mean, are you seeing that nationwide? I believe you are. And why do you think that is happening? Well, the National Education Association has d done research that showed that 55% of educators are wanting to leave the profession early. We know that throughout this past year, there have been, uh, with the start of school, staffing issues were really a problem. And I, I do believe that it's for a whole host of issues. It's not just behaviors in the classroom. I could go into what some of those issues are if you'd like, but when we think about the behaviors in the classroom, it when you're a teacher and you're having to manage behaviors instead of teaching content, it's frustrating. And then when you have limited opportunity to be creative with the content that you need to teach because you're teaching to the test so often, that's also frustrating. So there's a combination of issues um, that are, are leading teachers to have m wear more hats, whether it's dealing with behaviors, dealing with security in the, cl in the schools, dealing with their curriculum, lots of different issues that are really um, pushing our educators to leave. So it's more important than ever as a community to really support our teachers and to really help in the schools to build these cultures of support and kindness so that they feel respected and that trickles down into our children as well. Are we turning the corner as far as respect and, and that kind of thing for teachers or, or not? Because I, I, I do think that that is an issue. And, and we learned over the pandemic how vitally important they are. And, and I, I believe you're right, a lot are burning out, a lot are, are quitting, they're getting out of, of teaching, unfortunately, and we desperately need our teachers. Are we turning the corner? What, where do you think we'll be in five years? Oh, that's a good question. 
Um, I do believe that there is a lot of divisiveness actually between what we feel schools should be responsible for, what families should be responsible for, and the more that we can come together, the stronger we're going to be because ultimately our schools are really at the center of our communities. Okay, yeah. And um, I guess, do you think teachers are going to continue leaving the profession? I mean, part of what you do with the Child Parent Educator Collective is try and really work to stop that, right? Right. We really are trying to inspire our educators and help them have enough resource to face all of the things that they're facing right now in their schools. And are some states better at this than others? Would you, or, or is this just a nationwide issue? Well, I mean, the information that was given was a nationwide statistic. It wasn't an individual statistic. But uh, yes, I, um, it depends on partly how tight-knit the communities are. The smaller communities tend to be providing a lot more resource uh, to their schools and are more dependent on their schools. So there's a little bit more involvement than in these situations where there's more anonymity and a hard, it's hard sometimes for parents to even decide I'm gonna get involved. I know, I know last week I uh, had a school meeting and I really, it was a Friday. I had a lot of work to finish up. I had uh, a lot going on and I definitely, I, they were having a coffee with the principal and I went and I was so thankful that I ended up going. I of course go to all of the, you know, the school related options, you know, and activities for parents. But I was so thankful that I went because I connected with other parents that made me feel good. We were able to talk collaboratively about different issues in school and how to help support our children and have conversations around it. And the administration was able to understand what we're seeing at home with our children. So the more we have these open lines of communication, the better. Same thing with teachers. The more they have the opportunities to come together and collaborate, um, making time for them to have a, you know training and I think tanks and ideas together the better they feel because then they're not just trying to figure everything out on their own there are all of these resources that's that's great that's fascinating and and that's just an example of you going into the school and and the positive things that come out of that I don't know if parents are so busy now that that maybe they don't get to but it's just so valuable when you do that when you take that extra step when you go in the school and and, right. and some people get it but some people they just they, they can't do it and and so again I mean do you think parents are, are, are moving more toward that or we're moving more away from that you know wh where, where do you think we are I think we ended up pretty isolated for a very long period of time. So definitely when people are having more of the opportunities to come together, they're wanting to do that now as a result of what we had seen before. So I am positive that there's a positive trajectory. All right, that's good. All right, we'll take a break uh, and continue our discussion. We'll take a break. If you want to call, there's the number 615-737 plus, 615-737-7587. We'll take a break, do that right after this.